Let's watch the trailer. What did you guys think of this trailer? Blue seas, clear skies, and boundless possibilities. I think that part looks really pretty. I dare say our destination will soon be in sight. Enjoying yourself for a change? It looks really pretty, man. All those areas look nice. What do you think the new job is going to be? People are saying it's either going to be Corsair or like something else. <clears throat> this has got to be the new job. I was kind of wanting it to be like a, like a staff, a staff user like Donatello, you know? Might you have a moment to speak further? <laughs> This is like the summer vacation expansion. Last we have come to the land you call the new world. My home. Put out. The beach episode. <clears throat> we won. Summer 2024, man. So it looks like we're back on schedule, guys. You know, for the expansions and everything, man. Okay, so that was pretty good. Let's watch the trailer one more time. I'll talk about my feelings on the trailer. All right. Let's watch it one more time. This time we could pause and stuff and, like, talk about it a little bit. So... I think all of this looks really pretty. It looks beautiful. This is like some of my favorite like type of water. I'm a I'm a real big fan of like blue green water. Like you see it in like the Caribbean and shit. I just really like the environment. Like I think it's really pretty. You know what I mean? Ah, blue seas, clear skies, and boundless possibilities. Well, I I understand that it's like it's like a cinematic, right? But that's the type of environment that I like, the atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? So, so this is so like so far to me, it's really cool. Like I like I like I like it. That area. This area also looks awesome. That right there looks badass, man. It kind of reminds me of um, like those islands on the on that movie Avatar. I think this looks really cool too. I'm like a big. The music is so bad. Um. Okay, you guys are probably gonna hate me for this. <laughs> okay, I don't think the music is bad at all. Final Fantasy XIV and Soken, they have a very, very particular style. I recognize the style, I respect the style, but the style is not my favorite. I'll give you an example of a song that I love that like he's done and a song that I don't really, it, it's not, all right, all right, all right. I wanna be clear. There's not a Final Fantasy XIV song that I dislike. I feel like the music is so good that even if you're not into it, which I'm not really that into it, guys, you have to understand. I mean, I like all different types of music, okay? But it has to be the right, uh, like notes and tone 
and shit like that. Now, I'm not saying this is bad at all. I'm just saying that it's not my favorite. And I mean, that's not a wrong opinion to have, and it's not a correct opinion to have. It's just, it's like, for me, music is very, I guess, emotional, right? It's close to the heart. And I feel like a lot of people share that too. If you don't like a particular style of music, I, I don't necessarily think that you're wrong. I don't think that there's a wrong or a right answer in this. But anyway, I said all that just to say this. This song, I don't hate this song, but I don't like this song either. The song is very mid to me. I'll probably forget it, but it's not bad. So I'm not trying to kill anybody's butt. I actually like old 14 music better. So real quick, I know we're like mid-react, but we're going to react to another react. Uh, so like, listen to the differences here. When the primals played this, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, 10 out of 10. When the primals played this, it was amazing. Okay. Listen to this part. Dun, 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 You know that part? Okay. It doesn't sound like it. It doesn't sound like it, but there is a ridiculous amount of rhythm and heaviness when you hear it live. Because when you hear this shit live, like it, like for me, I can't not move my body. Because, okay, that's what I was. I was a rhythm guitarist. Like, I did occasional lead parts. Like, sometimes I would, like, solo and stuff. But for a majority, my favorite style is rhythm. I love rhythm. And I love finding, like, grooves and shit like that. That's just how I play. So, like, with this... Uh, that fucking... That fucking riff is amazing. It's really good. And another one is... Uh, this one. So like this has so much rhythm to it, it's unreal, man. And it doesn't it doesn't do it justice in the game. It really doesn't. Right here. Dude, that part is so awesome live, man. Right here. That was so good live, dude. So fucking good. Now, you know what? No, no, no. You say you hate this song? I used to hate this song. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. I used to hate this song. I know exactly what you're talking about, but when you hear it live, I promise you, I promise you, it is different. It's different when you have like these heavy fucking distorted guitars, because honestly, when they put music, okay, listen to this. Okay. Okay. Listen to this. That guitar sounds really weak. Okay. It sounds really weak. It almost has no power behind it. Okay. When you hear it live, it's heavy as fuck. Uh, but anyway, anyway, we really ranted there. That's my take on 14 Music. One of the best songs that I've ever heard from the Primals is Ravana. When I heard Ravana live, holy shit. That was a 10 out of 10. Titan is a 10 out of 10 too. It's so fucking good. What are the worst songs? Um, Honestly, man, you guys are probably going to hate me, but some of their worst songs are the Inwalker songs and the Shadowbringer songs, man. Remember what I said. I genuinely do not think that a single 14 song is bad. I don't. Soken is that good, man. He really is. And I like, I respect the fuck out of him, but a lot of the things that, that he does, like the, a, a lot of the ways that he makes music, like the notes that he uses, the, the like the rhythms that he uses. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not my thing. That's all I'm saying. You know what? Also scream live was badass. I hate scream, but live, it was awesome. It was really, really good. Oh, one more thing. Sorry. Symphony was 10 out of 10. My favorite songs from the symphony were Ultima, Thornton. Oh man, dude. Holy shit. I've never seen the cutscene of Horsefont dying. When I listened to that, they were playing like stuff on the screen, dude. Yeah, I've, no, I've, no, I've never seen it. When I, when I saw that synced up with the music after doing DSR, you, I started to tear up, man. I did. It was insane. He like comes in with the shield and the spear 
the spear goes through the scene, or sorry, goes through the goes through the shield. It just it just kills him, man. I felt so bad. I was like, holy shit. DSR is the best fight I've ever done. So you think this is gonna be Corsair, huh? So you think that he's gonna bust out the gun? Wait, was there a gun there? I think he's gonna bust out the gun. Well, but how does Corsair have anything to do with Turtles? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was misdirection? I don't think so. How is it a misdirection? I don't know, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to find the link between Corsair and Ninja Turtles. Wait, Tortuga is the Spanish for turtle. Oh, okay, okay, no, that makes sense. No, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, all the turtles were named after a painter. So, so the, the, the shirt was probably a caster shirt. Yeah, now that makes sense. Is that a, what was that? It kind of looks like a holster. Yeah, yeah. Is anyone else a Yustola simp, dude? I'm such a Yustola simp. So this expansion's gonna like divide the scions, I guess. So he just has a sword. Wait, look at his arm. What's on his arm? Well, but that could just be like his sword. I thought it was his sword. He's got hair on his arm, unlike your head. Get the get, get the fuck out of here. Why would you type that? Like, why does that sentence even exist? My home That's very pretty. So, I mean, this <clears throat> this expansion. Okay, so. So when I first saw the expansion, I was excited. I wasn't super excited, but the more that I'm reading about it, the more I'm seeing it, the more excited I'm getting. The things that interest me the most are the amount of content that's in the game and the job design. We're gonna see how they fix the jobs or well, <laughs> add to the jobs. Hopefully they add more than they did in Endwalker, but I just get two new abilities and that's it. I guess the good news is I don't see how they could possibly make the jobs any easier, but Dawn Trail is slated for the most amount of content. This expansion, if everything goes according to plan, will have the most amount of content in the entire game of any expansion because of the things that they have planned for it. And the cool thing is, is there'll be a lot of shit for like everybody, right? They'll have variant plus Boja plus ultimates plus a new type of content. Yeah, yeah. So there's also Palace of the Dead. So basically there's gonna be an expansion where they have variant dungeons, Palace of the Dead, Boja, and ultimates. Like that's huge. <laughs> 